This past weekend I was in a meeting and we were talking about declaration and decreeing and I, and I shared that what I was seeing was this old brass padlock. And I don't know if you've ever seen these. They could have been made by a company called Yale or things like that. But what they were, they were big and round. They had this big, hefty top part, but it was a brass padlock. And it couldn't be opened. And it opened with this, like, what we would call a skeleton key or a very antique-looking key. What I saw was this old padlock, and I saw this key come out. And it went into the lock, and it opened it up. And I immediately thought, that's it. God's coming. He's the key. He's going to change everything. He's going to do all these things. And God said, that's not the deal. What? He says, it is you who is the key. I've given you everything to be the key to releasing people from their bondage. There's things that have held on forever and ever and ever. I think that the fact that it was an old lock decries things about tradition and religion and just things that have held on for a very long time. And God wants to bring release to those things. But he's going to bring release to those things because he's also going to bring some very old things, which is his person operating through you and I, to bring release. That, that, that key, that very old-fashioned key with the big teeth and everything, we call it a skeleton key because it, you know, it, 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 it looks like some type of skeleton is kind of where the, where the name came from. But what it's doing is it's taking us to this place. God is saying, you are the key. You are going to unlock the things that have caught people, tradition and religion, all those things that have held people in bondage, things you know that have been spoken over their lives as children and fathers and mothers and relatives and teachers and people in authority have spoken negative things, and you're going to take those things and you're going to remove them, because what you're going to do is you're going to go into their center of their being. You're going to put this key in this lock, and you're just going to put it right into the center of them. You're not going to speak to their mind. You're going to speak to their heart. And when you speak to their heart, you're going to bring release. That structure, that structure of hardness and fastness and religion and, and, and just that brass thing. The Bible speaks of the heavens being of brass. We don't live under that as believers. We live under open heavens. But people live under that brass heaven thing. And so what we're doing is we're going to, we're going to be the releasers uh, we're going to give them the freedom. We're going to set the captives free because it's not just their heart that it's going to unlock, but when we unlock that 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 part that goes up, and you know, and you'll see chains wrapped around it and everything. When we unlock that, chains are going to break off of people's lives, and they're going to be set free. You and I are the key. You know, David said that. You know, we we read about the keys of the kingdom being given. And, and David and people like that. We have the keys of the kingdom because we are the keys of the kingdom. God has already given us wisdom. He's already given us favor. He's already given us salvation. He's already given us the power to decree and declare. He's given us dominion. And he's given us all these things. And we are the releasers. So we need to speak to people's heart and set them free. Thanks. God bless you.